I feel like the African diaspora complains a lot. Yeah, we do. But why do we complain about Chinese people coming in? I know when we are not. When there. you are not coming. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it I think sense. I think there's this thing I need to tell people, man. Wherever there are people complain a lot, that's where the opportunity it is. is our, absolutely. But yet, when Africans get so comfortable with life in the U.S., life in um, Canada, Europe, and they start saying that there is nothing in Africa. And one thing that I hate the fact that anytime time I take both the drivers to be like, is that what am I am? Please, I hope you don't know who I am. Yeah, yeah, know you. you know me. Ah. <laughs> Maya. Ah. Maya can never leave the house without people noticing him. Every day, all the time. I don't know why you're saying wow. With one million followers, you still want ah. to ah. This, this is the most expensive gift I've ever got in my entire life. Well, well let them see you saying that. Oh, For saying... real, this is the most expensive gift I've ever got in my entire life. I've, no one has ever gifted me anything like this before. <laughs> Good morning, how are you all doing? It's a beautiful morning right here in Ghana. I'm back in Ghana, yeah? I had a very good time in South Africa. Currently in Ghana and I'm just trying new things. I want to vlog. I, I feel like I just want to be me for a day. Yeah, because I feel so good whenever I put a camera on myself talking to you guys. I feel like I express myself more than when I go to a specific place to shoot a particular video. So I'm giving it a shot once again, but I've created a channel for this particular vlog that I want to introduce. You've seen the second channel that I have called The Wadamaya Show. It's going to be The Wadamaya Vlogs, yeah? So if you haven't subscribed to that channel, subscribe now because I'm going to do more vlogs. Babe, you're coming down. This is one thing I don't like about women, you know. I was supposed to go out by 8 o'clock. It's 9 and it's still not done. Please let me know in the comment section, do your women act the same way or your wives act the same way? Like when you are done with whatever you're doing and... See, I've been, I've been done since an hour, man. Babe, you're done. Why were you keeping so long? You look good, by the way. Thank you. Outfit of the day. I got this in the US. Jeez, I, I'm just tired of, I got this in the US. Even water to drink. <laughs> I said, give me the water. Okay, babe. I got this in the US. Yeah, my outfit of the day. I got it from Ghana, yeah. I think you'll we'll be <laughs> vlogging more. No, I think I need to be vlogging more because I've created a new channel. Because I've inspired you to vlog. You always you know, inspire Maya me. is a serious kind of guy. His vlogs are very serious. But now with me in the picture, you're inspired to vlog. I'm proud of you. But do you know that I used to vlog when I was in China? You did? Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, alias Wada Maya. I am Maya. Guess where I am? Like, it's just that when I came back to Africa, I felt like anytime I picked the camera, people are like, Don't film me, don't show my face. There's a time somebody slashed off my camera just because they thought I was filming them. Wow, so I felt like even in the planes, you should check my old videos. I used to vlog in the plane when I'm coming back to Africa. Oh, wow, even my vlog from China slow speed train mm -hmm. you see? Vlog. was a vlog. But in Africa, as soon as I pull, I pull up my camera, everyone starts looking at me. And I'm a very shy guy, man. I don't like it. You remember when you went to Dubai? Mm -hmm. What was I doing? I was vlogging because I was in Dubai. Nobody cares about me. But, but where are the Dubai videos? Jeez. Wait for it. I'm the only influencer who doesn't have a car. I, I'm more like an, a boat, uh, how do you call it? Boat or Uber celebrity. I'm not, I don't have a car, man. Look at me. And one thing that I hate the fact that any time I take both the drivers to be like, is that what am I am? Please, I hope you don't know who I am. Yeah, yeah, I know you. You know ah. me? I, I, <laughs> ah. <laughs> You're just watching my videos. On oh, Facebook. Look at that. He's showing me. Jeez, man. Look at the guy. On Facebook, and here we are. Talk about getting stuck in traffic for two hours on a rainy day. Yeah, anytime it rains in Accra, there is always a traffic. 
you know, I hate to move out of my room when it's eight o'clock because it's not that you're gonna experience traffic. Hi, I'm in front of a gate, bro. Apparently, you change your room, eh? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm downstairs. Yeah. That's who is coming. Who? Who's coming? When, when, when she comes, you're all gonna say hi. Uh, hi. They won't even know who she is until you tell them. Come on, everybody knows her. I'm saying in East Africans like me. Oh, okay. Maybe Nigerian. Ghanians but know her, but. You don't know her? I don't know. Hi. She's a celebrity. Oh, really? She's the richest woman in Ghana. Hey. Ah, I'm telling you. She hmm. told me to come and vlog also. Ah, she's the richest. She's the richest woman in Ghana. Hmm. She, she, she's the most connected woman in the entire of Africa. Hey. Do, do you know the um, award scheme called um, Guba Awards? The part of it. It's more like an um, award for people who are doing great stuff on the continent, mm -hmm. both in the continent and in the diaspora. And she's the CEO. Oh. She's the founder. Oh, wow. So, she, you know, that's why I always talk about women empowerment. You know, for her, when it comes to women, she's oh. absolutely the best. Are you you know? I'm not feminine. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Hi, how? I'm not feminine. For real. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good morning. Oh my God! Jeez! <laughs> One day. Yeah! You stop what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Did I wake you up? Me? No, I've been up already. You've been up already? See, this is how business women act, man. Because she has the whole of Africa on her head, so <laughs> she cannot sleep. It's ready. Good morning, sis. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Please come in. She has my checkbook. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting beside the richest woman in Ghana. Ah! And my checkbook is with her. I don't care. Because she doesn't need my money. <laughs> <laughs> you it's see? Been with me. It's been with me for like three months. Huh? See, this is how I trust rich people, you know, when you spend time with rich people, yeah. Oh, and how you're doing amazing, you're all over the place. Yeah. Wow. I hope you are not leaving anytime soon, though. I'm leaving tonight to LA. What? I'll be back on Tuesday, I think it's on Monday. Lenta is a mother of four. Um, and somebody that's been promoting Ghana for the last 20 years. I have an organization called Grow Unite Build Africa, GUBA. So we started off doing the GUBA Awards, honoring people in the diaspora. Hello, good evening. My name is Aisha Addo, and I am the host of this year's GUBA 2021 Red Carpet, where we're celebrating the courage and resilience and accomplishment of African women worldwide. Um, and then we birthed new babies from that, which then became GUBA Enterprise. We have the GUBA um, ex Trade Expo. It's what we used to do. We used to take SMEs from here to take their products into the UK market. So we invite Tesco's, Asda, ASOS, Topshop, all of them to come to see how we can source our products on there. And Body Shop as well, because Body Shop get their shea butter from Ghana. So trying to add another supply chain for them. Um, and then we have the Diaspora Transition Network, which helps diasporans who are trying to transition back to Ghana. Hi, I'm Sherry Thompson. I'm here at the Goober event, which is the Diaspora Conversation, and we're really conversing. We're learning quite a bit of wonderful information and how the diaspora can come and get into Ghana. So whether it's recruitment, whether it's um, you know finding a, a job or at work experience, some people come to Ghana and they're here for like six weeks with their families, we can get you work experience. Um, whether it's buying a house, a property, um, setting up your business, all of that, we help the diaspora transition. And we're setting up a skills database for Ghana because I believe that us diasporans that have you know, lived outside, we have so many skills. And when we come, it's like, we actually don't end up using our skills. We end up doing different things. Um, and so how do we plug into um, the development of Ghana using the skills that we have. 
in Ghana, there's only three rheumatology doctors for 30 million people. That's not right. We have so many incredible doctors out there in the diaspora. How do we get them back into Ghana? Um, so these are the things that we do. We have the Guba Careers. We're now recruiting for Meta. We're going to be doing an event with um, Meta Facebook and Instagram on recruitment. They're now going to be recruiting in Africa. Um, and um, we have our Guba Foundation, which supports children living with autism, infant mortality and education. Um, and that's me in a nutshell. And a TV presenter, I have my own TV show, The Dental Show, which I'm going to be interviewing one day on. That is not happening anytime soon. What do you mean it's not happening anytime soon? It's not, it's not happening anytime soon because she doesn't stay in Ghana. <laughs> you know, you, you not... stay in Ghana, me and you. You were in South Africa the other time. Then you were in Gambia, then you were... Ah, you've been... See, I'm, I'm an African traveler, but oh. she's a world traveler. Oh, please. <laughs> you see, that's the difference. An African and a world traveler. Oh, my goodness. It was fantastic. I, I I love it. I felt like also. So you're gonna, gonna do your wedding? Geez, I know that was the no, next question. When is the wedding? I knew that that's gonna be the next question. <laughs> when is the wedding? Uh, in, in, in December, yeah. In I'm, December. I'm getting married in December. Oh yeah. Yay! Yeah. What What is your final message for Africans? Um, one thing that I would say, especially for um, African leaders, is that look, we need to drop this visa issue for Africa. Africans should be able to travel within Africa um, and that's how we we'll get more trade as well um, and more businesses. That's how Europe was built. Do you understand? Europe, no visa for any countries that's within Europe and so why can't we do that um, with, with, with Africa? Um, and so um, I think that's really key and I think, you know, again encouraging the diaspora to come back, the more of us that come the better it is for our nation development. China was built because of their diaspora. There was a call for their diaspora and they came back. It's time for us to come back. It is hard, but there are Chinese people in Africa and they're doing very, very well. <laughs> there are Italians, there are See, every, every type of culture, they're I, here. I, I feel like the African diaspora complains a lot. Yeah, we do. But why do we complain about Chinese people coming in? I know, when we are not When there. you are not coming. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 I, think, I think there's this thing I need to tell people, man. Wherever there are people complaining a lot, that's where the opportunity it is. is. Our, absolutely. But yet, when Africans get so comfortable with life in the US, life in um, Canada, Europe, and they start saying that there's nothing in Africa. I think you, you've built a successful business in Africa. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think there's a lot of people that have moved back. If you look at Ghana, look at Starbites. Eric Andor was from the UK um, and he decided to move back. Now Starbites is like, uh, say KFC, he's all over. He's in Accra, he's in Kumasi, he's going to Dakar, he's going everywhere. And there is an opportunity. Well, I'm saying that when, when, you're, when you're in the UK or outside of, of, of Ghana, um, it's difficult to realize your dreams, you know. People have plans, uh, oh, I, I want to do this, I want to do that. And sometimes it's a bit difficult in the UK. Um, but when you come to Ghana, you can actually realize your dreams. You can actually uh, eventually build the house of your dreams. You can build the business of your dreams. Um, and it's for you. Do you understand? And I think that we need to look at the opportunity. Because when you are in the diaspora and you come back, you have, when you come, you see so much opportunity. And I think that, look, sometimes it's not about you working alone. It's about you partnering with somebody right okay. because you can't do it alone there are businesses there are young entrepreneurs here who just need investment who just need somebody with your expertise you know and we can build the nation like that together there's someone called sape he's got a cassava uh, farm huge cassava farm all you need is investment from somebody in the diaspora to come and partner we need more partnership that's how we're gonna grow conversations I've had with diasporans um, some of them have said look when I'm trying to move back my family in the UK are like why are you moving why would you why would you want to go back to Ghana like you're in a space where you know you everything works why do you want to go back to somewhere that the system does not work um, and so they'll they'll come and 
they're getting negative feedback from the UK. They've come to Ghana now. And the Ghanaians are here like, why do you want to live in Ghana? Like, do you know how we're <laughs> suffering here? Like, you know, and so it's like they here don't want you to succeed. And so how do we, how do we develop with that attitude? You know, so I think that <clears throat> we need to look past that. Um, we need to come together um, and we need to work together. So I, I would always say to you, come, look, and everybody will move though. So those that don't want to move, you can always mentor somebody and you can always partner and invest in somebody. That's what I would say. I, I think one thing that I've noticed is that we love to do things individually mm. whilst we can do stuff collectively. collectively yeah. See, I want to say this as a diaspora. I mean, we have a Ghanaian community. We have, um, let's put up African community, yeah. right? Let's talk about a thousand people putting a hundred pounds together. I know we've done that calculation. I mean, it's like, Chalif, look, huh? how much was the, uh, oh, where's my phone? hundred people. No, 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 listen, like, listen, wait, listen, listen, thousand. listen. That's money is for pizza. Ghana records 1.5 billion remittances in 2021. Did you hear that? 4.5 billion in remittances. That's how much money was sent from the diaspora to Ghana. Ghana. We don't need anybody to give us any loan. If all of us were to give $5 from the diaspora, we'd get this money to develop. That's how serious But But the thing is, is that well, when, when you get this money, who is going to use the money to develop the country? I'm pleading with... And I think private, private investors sector. exactly private it's sector. all about the private sector because mm -hmm. the government is not ready see that's why they don't want me to say this but for me i'll always say it. i'm sorry Denta, this is my conversation it's not about you i i feel like um the government is not ready because recently i saw the president complaining about how the system is not how the people throw rubbish everywhere about the ghanaian mentality but i also want to say mr president the country can be fixed if we put the system in place. If you go to Rwanda, the system is there so that the people will not litter around. Mm -hmm. So as, as the man of the land, I think this thing can be done easily so that we as the citizen will follow. Like if I know that if I put rubbish here, I'm gonna be arrested, I won't do it. That's the thing. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm so sorry. I know Denton no, doesn't like this to, I went to Rwanda and I was, I was amazed at the fact that how clean it was. And it was through your video. So when I was going, I was excited. I was like, I'm going to check what, well, what, what, that, what they <laughs> said, whether, whether it was true. And literally, I didn't even see any gutters, to be honest. And the gutters that I did see had nothing, not even chewing gum. I was looking for chewing gum, chewing gum on the floor, nothing. And it was clean. Everybody's on one path, one direction. And it was just beautiful to see. And I think even Africa, we can learn from each other. You know, um, governments can learn, pick out different things from different countries and we all develop that way. Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I think that there's a great opportunity for us young youth um, to come together and, and do something. Thank you, babe. Always. It's our private time, babe. Switch up the camera. For what? Ah. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Babe. What's going on? Stop. Right now, Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. Anytime, bro. Yeah, All we, right. We just, so go and catch the money for me, eh? Money for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that money is not for her. So you, you all remember we're raising funds for Jerry Johnson, the man who started the African Ancestral Wall. He's also building a resource center. Well, we've calculated that to finish that resource center because it's two levels, library, everything. It's going to be about $40,000. So I think I'm going to use my channel to raise $20,000, wow. which means that we've taken half of your wow. burden off, right? So together with you guys, we're able to raise over $13,000. So $9,000 has been sent into my account. And um, currently they sent $3,000, which is um, sent via Western Union. So I need to go to the bank and take the money. I right? love how you are open and accountable with your money. With no, I, need to, I just need to let them know. Man. You actually did. You don't do what? You. Come on, bro. Uh, he's telling me I cannot film in my own country. This, this is why I don't like this thing. Man. Charlie, what's up, man? that we 
when you were broke uh, like three years ago. My, I used to eat this thing for my sister. This bread here. This bread, eh? Mm. Uh, let's, we're still broke now. Let's buy some. Um, yeah, we used to eat that like almost every day, you know. But these days, my just passes. Like he, like he's not seen them. <laughs> no, come on. Ah, hi. But wait, what's that? Superstar. Let's buy bread then. <laughs> No, we used, to, we used to buy, like, I just don't want to buy it. This is my, my dream, this is my dream. So we, used to, we used to buy this a lot, man, uh, because this actually fills your stomach for a day. Maya can never leave the house without people noticing me. Every day, all the time. I don't know why you're saying, wow, with one million followers, you still want to ah, 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 <laughs> She you loves you more than me. I'm a superstar in Ghana. Uh, <laughs> so one, one, one thing I really love about Ghana is the panice. Just so panice and then we just have to buy. How much is it now? Uh, fun ice. Is this fun ice? Maybe fun ice. How? Right, vanilla. They changed the cover of fun ice. This is how fun ice looks like now. I have a two shoe, but this one is the old one. The old one, yeah, this this is the old one. This one better than this. This is better than this. This one is better than this. How? If you will see. Tell this one, tell this one. You buy this one. I don't believe it. This one is the old one, but this one is new. It's like strawberry, eh? Strawberry and fan ice. Strawberry and fan ice together, vanilla. So this is strawberry and vanilla joined together. And this, this, is, one is than this. this one is better than this. Yeah. Have you guys tasted this type of fine ice? Because this is my first time. Uh, and I, new one. This, be new this one. is a new one. Eh? <laughs> How much is this one? Two CD. This one is one CD. Okay. How often do you do this? Every day? You sell every day? Uh, I'm selling every day. You sell every day? If you sell more, you're putting the more. If you sell a uh, small, you're putting the small. If you sell uh, only one yogurt, you're putting the 20 pesos. Uh -huh. If you sell hand, you're probably 20 CD. If Ooh. you don't sell hand, you Ooh. don't get 20 CD. So, so which means uh, in a day you sell 100? Uh -huh. you, uh, before you get 20 CD. So you get 20 CD uh -huh. a day uh -huh. from morning to... Okay, now I, I, now I think I understand what he's trying to say. <laughs> Let's take it from here. So which means that in a day, yeah, you sell 100 of this. Uh -huh. How much will you make? If you sell this for 100, you get the uh, 20 CD. 20 CD. 20 CD. Wow. 100 with 20 CD. 100 with 20. If you say the 200, you get the 40 CD. You get 40 CD. Uh, if you say the 300, you get the Sister, Sister Ghana. Ghana. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, now I understand. <laughs> so, which means that uh, every day you can make 20 CD, 20 CD, 20 CD? Uh, every day. Every day, you, uh, if you don't sell, you get the 30 CD. You get the 30 uh, CD. So, that's like your daily income. Uh -huh. Today you've not sell you've not sell like I don't say because of the weather. Because of the weather. Uh -huh. <laughs> so in in a day if you sell hundred, uh, you make twenty. Twenty, yeah. Uh -huh. So let's say today you when you sell for two hundred, you well, make what? Forty CD. CD. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you sell two hundred and fifty you make 50 CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is for you then. Yeah, God bless you. Ah, bless you. This, this is God for you. If that is the case, then this is God for you. God bless you. Aww. God bless you every time. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, eh? No, don't worry. I, I just want to see you happy. You know, so give me that one. Give me this one. And take this one. Yeah, boss. Yeah? Thank you. Thank yeah, okay, you. now. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. God bless, God bless you too, you. yeah, and uh, all the best. So this is what you do every day. Uh, I'll sell small, small. Uh, um, the every uh, the, the, the normal uh, account. I'm think uh, the susu. Uh, the uh, density, density. Density, density. Give me. Do you have a phone number? Uh, Give me your phone number.
No, 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 me, I have to say hello now. Charlie. Sorry. What's ah, up, I'm good, man. Nice yeah. to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you too. Good to see you. Good to see you, bro. I was just... What's the project? The project, I... I just came to buy fan ice, man. Fan ice? Yeah. That I got my bread and my fan ice. It's time to enjoy myself. <laughs> Hmm. The combination is mad. This is where I find you. How long have you been looking me, for me? I messaged you. Hey, on Instagram, Instagram. Instagram? I went to West Bridge. Really? That's oh, really. Judy, how are you? Oh wow. Oh, well, that's my wife, you know, Jessica. Hello. Hi, Hi Jessica. Nice I hope you are not Jessica Opari. Hey. After receiving the money, I think we're gonna lose a lot of money since the exchange rate is 6.8. This is what the bank that sent the money from the US used. So we got twelve thousand uh, dollars already, but I believe that the twelve thousand dollars multiplied by six point eight. I mean the dollar rate conversion right now is around seven point something. But the rates that they gave me, the time that the recipient sent the money is 6.8. With what you guys are seeing, you all know that I got $1 to 6.8. So this is the conversion that we're going to use to send the money to uh, Mr. Jerry John. Oh my goodness. Um, sometimes it's so hard to explain these things, man. I mean, people know that they gave you $12,000. And the conversion rate that they're going to give to the people is 6.8. I think 6 everyone 8. understands. Everyone understands this. Uh, uh, the currencies are different, you exactly. know. So there's the exchange rate for every country. So. No, but the, the exchange rate in Ghana right now is 7.4. But when they send the money from the US, they use 6.8. Mm -hmm. You understand? I got a call to go somewhere. Do you want to go? Hello? My developer. Hello? I finally got to my developer's house and office at the same time. He doesn't want to be on camera, I don't know if... Oh, I got lost again. <laughs> Max doesn't want to be on camera, so you, just, you can only hear his voice. Anyway, Max, how are you doing? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. How is America? Well, you know, normally I say America is good, but globally everybody is struggling. So, America is of no exception. Wow. Yeah. How is America? You also got to America. It's like this came from America. It's okay. America is okay. Mm -hmm. I see you're living your best life in America. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. Guess where I am? I am at the Hollywood Walk of freaking fame. And I'm seated on Sandra Bullock's star. I can't believe it. Oh my god. No, you can only live your best life in Africa. You can only live your best life in Africa, you say? Mm -hmm. Max. I agree. Are you sure about that? Yes, I think <laughs> there's a lot of freedom here that we don't get over there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you We're know. There's always a minority there, you know? But always a minority there. Yeah. I really wanted you to see my developer, but he has to be on camera, by the way. I don't know why. Why not? You know, rich people, yeah. they, they love to be yeah. behind the camera. <laughs> Those of us who don't have money, we always want to be in front of the camera. Ah. You, know, you know, the last time you opened your space, mm -hmm. um, you invited me. And uh, I was impressed with what you're doing. And I actually setting up a space and opening it up free of charge for people to just come in and, you know, uh, do their thing. This social media mm. uh, entrepreneur. So, I figured why don't I just chip in my quota? I mean, you're doing it for free, yeah. right? If you do it, cost you money. So a little bit here, a little bit there is going to go a long way to, to help. And I think there's a future in what you're doing, especially for the youth, you know? Increase employment, source of income. I sure you don't want to be on camera. No, you don't. Know, ah. really. <laughs> I spoke about that. No. So, so I, I just felt compelled to help. And it's nothing, I mean. Mm -hmm. Part of the reason why I don't want to be on her, I don't think it's a big deal, you know, to, to, to help with that cause. 
Yeah. He doesn't want to be on camera, but I'm on camera. Yeah. yeah. So if you see me, then you see him. Do you know what mask coming? Mm, what? I don't know. Unless he tells me even. Well, you'll we'll have to find out. What was the question? I, I asked her if she knows what Max gave me. Oh, okay. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. Max, would you love to take us to go see what you got at store? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's let's do that. Are you the one behind this? Yes, yes, yes. Myla Holmes. Uh, Is it Mila or Myla? Myla. Myla. So I was right. Yeah. Myla Holmes. Invest with confidence. Invest in Myla Holmes. Max, what are you, is, it, is it a new is, project you are working on? Radio right now, it's like on. It's, uh, it's going to have about 26 units. Mostly, oh, wow. Mostly service apartments. Um, we almost is it like, sold out? No, well, we have not, we have not really launched it. This is just a prototype, but it's sold out, essentially. We've only got, I think, two studios and... Can I buy one studio? Beds. Well, you know... We no, I just want to buy one to support my developer. I, I mean, that's how it is said. So, which one is available? Um, we've got uh, two studios on a ladder, one floor, and then six, six two beds uh, available, and then I think three of the one bed. So I think we're almost seventy percent so, but we haven't even launched it. This is just you know using our uh, people within our network. You know, okay. we're already in that space, so people know what we do. So, so um, with, with this, with a studio, how much will it cost? The studio is as low as. Um, Seventy nine nine. Seventy nine thousand. Seventy nine thousand nine hundred dollars. Okay. And then it goes as high as one hundred and ten thousand. If you're all the way out of ten thousand. Alright. Yeah. The, the 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 space is about thirty five square meter to as much as forty four. Hmm. So once you move out, every every studio or one bed or two bed have two private balconies. Okay. So you have you know this private balcony in the front and then behind you also. Which is it comes to the price then? Hey, hey, hey. The, more, the higher you go, the, the more it gets expensive. Absolutely. It's so, got, so, so what if I buy from here? Yeah, that one is the lowest you can get. That will, that will be how much? That's where we start at seventy nine nine. You know, but I always tell people, I mean, it, this is service apartment. It's really focused on people who want to get rents. Okay. Right. And it doesn't matter what floor you are. Most people, when they come in, they just want a place to lay their head. Okay. So whether you're on the ground floor or the top floor. The price, you know. Yeah, but Max, range. me, I just want one on the ground floor. Sure. Which is seventy nine, yeah, seventy nine thousand. Seventy nine, yes. But that's I need to get a discount, though. I'm yeah. not gonna pay seventy nine thousand dollars. I mean, discount. Buy, so absolutely. Discount. Absolutely. We can make it happen for you. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm buying one. And uh, the has the project started already? Uh we are digging ground uh next month. So this project is unique because. Let's say you are staying outside, okay. not in Ghana, okay. and you still want to invest and get rents, right? Um, we've done it in such a way that there will be no revenue leakage because you can actually see people that are going in, 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 in out of your apartment because it's kind of a smart um, lock system, right? So if you buy one and you start to let somebody manage for you, you also have a management company, you can do that for you as well. Okay. So since I'm buying one, you all need to buy one too so that both of us can own a property in here makes yes. sense yes uh, thank you thank you my i mean uh, it's definitely a wise investment mm -hmm. right now. but is that what you got hey Aww. open it this is brand new it comes with other stuff on there, bring it. Wow. It's fresh from the box. Fresh from a Zim, 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 zim. Look at that. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Thank you for getting my boyfriend this. You made his 2022. This is amazing. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wow. This, you want me to open this side too? Which side you wanna, is that? You want to keep it intact so it doesn't get the scratches. Oh wow, there's a keyboard. Oh, so it uses like the same, almost the same as a MacBook. Huh? Yeah. How cool. That's so cool. Thank you. Ah. So 
So who's gonna edit on this one? This, this mini editor is the most expensive gift I've ever got in my entire life. Well, well let them see you saying that. Oh, For saying? real, this is the most expensive gift I've ever got in my entire life. I've, no one has ever gifted me anything like this before. What about what I gifted you? What did you gift me, babe? Oh, wow. No one. Babe. No one. What? Even me, what I gifted you oh. is not as expensive. Hey. Just that I don't tell you the Can amount you I, of the gift oh, I gave Oh, my gosh! Wow! Incredible. Oh. And it's Apple product. The Apple man. Say thank you, Max, for supporting the dream. My dream has always been trying to make an impact. Well, tell them to tell but them finances is tough, very tough. You know, people see me, they think I, I have so much video. money, but I no, I don't have so much money. I just love supporting. You, you know why I even decided I to start a master class? Because I wanted to earn more money to use the money for my master uh, for my charity work because I, I, I declare this year as the year of charity so if you're a youtuber you really want to know how to vlog please check out the link in the description the master class will be there just 50 to 100 dollars pay and come and learn I'm not using that money for anything what I'm using the money for is I have so much charity work that I want to do this year and I hate to come here and beg you know, so I just want to make my own money. The whole money that will, will be um, used for the master class will be dedicated to the charity work. So please, if you haven't um, registered, please register. I'm just short of words, man. Like, I don't want to cry, you know. Men don't Aww. cry. This is a blessing. Thank you so much, Max. He doesn't want to be able. <laughs> So if you are a YouTuber, know that the, we've already created an opportunity for you all. Come and come and create your content. When you're done, this machine will be there for you to edit your videos. We just want to say that we never had this opportunity. That's why we're creating this opportunity for you. So take advantage of it. And one thing that I found out is that when you guys come to my uh, the one million dollar house, all you're looking for is to look for what am I? I'm not there. And don't come and see me as the content. Come and shoot your videos. We've created a serene environment for you to come and shoot your videos. We've shown you a place where you can come and edit. So Max God has this just to support the work we started. So yeah. I don't know what to say but I just want to say thank you Max for everything help me in the comment section to say thank you Max and let me know what you also think don't forget to like the video subscribe and be part of the channel but let me ask you do you share the videos though please share it's free to share the video so that other people can have access to content like this thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one